What is up YouTube, DM Pulse here, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Dash Launch to your console and also how to set plugins. You can find download links for each of these down in the description below on my website. They are labeled by video now to where you will be able to find each and every download just by knowing what JTAG tutorial number you are on or as well as what video number it is that I post. I will leave a note in the description for each video on where each file is found. <coughs> so for Dash Launch, you're going to need, of course, a USB because in order to put neighborhood working, you do need to have dash launch running. So I'm still going to open neighborhood anyways and show you guys. Um, anyways, if you were going to do this normally, all you would do is take your dash launch folder, which I have under my programs in my RGH folder. You need to take dash launch and copy it over to your USB and then just move it to your hard drive under XCX menu. So you do need XCX menu or FX menu on there first. After you download, drag dash launch over. It's really easy. Um, I'll show you guys anyways how to do it through neighborhood. If for some reason you do need to replace dash launch for any given reason. Oops. That was fair game. Anyways, dash launch, just drag it over. I already have it in there, so I'm not going to copy it. So now we are going to launch dash launch. So please be advised, I am using my capture card on my computer, so it will be a little delayed on how everything opens on my computer. But anyways, in order to launch dash launch from neighborhood, you just need to click your dash launch and then installer and then default XCX. So first you want to make sure you are inside of your... Um, hard drive or USB that you're going to be using to modify your launch INI. You will click A on whatever one you want to use to make sure you are in the settings for that particular INI. Then you'll hit right bumper twice to go over. If you hit B inside of dash launch, it will close you out to dashboard, so please do not hit it there. There's only certain times you can. So in order to set a plugin, all you need to do is go down to your plugin folder. And you will have a bunch of plugins in here. Um, so in order to do that, to set a plugin, since I already do have some set up, just simple ones, because I haven't reset up JRPC INI on this console, you're just going to want to find where you want to put a plugin, and you're going to click A. But since I already have one, I'm going to have to remove a plugin and show you guys. So uh, we'll do a notify, for example. We'll change the notify. So it says notify.xcx, that is a rainbow one I have right now. So we're going to push Y to get rid of it. Going to click A. And then we're going to go to our USB or hard drive, wherever we keep them. Dash launch will sometimes be very slow on selecting your storages if you're using a retail hard drive. Usually USB is a little bit faster. But we're just going to go down and find a notify. I believe I have... Yeah, I do have another notify in here. I have the weed notify, so I will show you guys that. But like I said, my um, screen is a little behind, so if you do see me like moving around and clicking wrong stuff, it's because I haven't counted how many times I need to click it. So after you do select what you need, um, you just make sure that you have all your plugins set to how you want them. And then after you do that, you just click A to close the partition. I'm going to show you guys real quick how to set up your network for your RGH on here also, because it is in Dash Launch. So you will want to have everything disabled but no net store and thing patch. So to enable it or disable something, you all you need to do is click on it. And it will turn it red or green. But you need to keep ping patch and no net store green in order to connect online properly. More normally consoles come with XHTTP on, Live Block and Live Strong. Those will prevent your consoles from getting online, and XHTTP is a GTA 5 band bypass. So, once you have all those set up how you want them, if you choose whether or not you're going to be doing FTP protocol, like in one of my next videos on faster ways to transfer things, all you need to do is go down to Configurator, and once you get to Configurator, all you want to do is make sure that you have it enabled right here, saying green enabled, and it's at port 21. And you'll be able to use this for your FileZilla or whatever FTP protocol that you use. 
So that's it for this one, guys. Um, inside of Dash Launch, you can view your CPU key, you can change your fan speed, um, and it'll tell you exactly what glitch you have, what um, board you have for that if you don't know, like, do I have a glitch 1 and a glitch 2 console, or do I have a Trinity or Corona? It'll tell you in the bottom right over here. Um, Shows your temperatures for your hard drive, your GPU, your CPU, and your motherboard. Uh, this is in Celsius, so if you get to like 80 Celsius, you're about to burn out your console. So I recommend putting your fan speed on max to keep it in the high 40s, low 50s. The 60s are okay, but they're not preferable. Anyways guys, once you do have your launch INI ready to be saved, you will just click X. I'm making sure that the time of the screen up here Sets enough default times so it will keep showing you guys what the functions are. <clears throat> but anyways, once you do save it and push X, all you need to do is hit B, and it will close you out of Dash Launch. And I will reboot my console to show you guys that the new Notify did save. So this will just take a second for my console to shut off. And since I am using my capture card, it will take a little bit longer for the console to show up on my screen. So we are just waiting for the console to boot up at this point, it shouldn't take more than a second because I just turned it off now, and it generally boots very quickly, but usually after I change an INI or I have a fatal crash, it takes a second or two longer to boot back on. I don't know if you guys can hear that in the background, my console is just like not at all letting me use the power button to shut it off, it just kept turning on. It kept making the sound to turn it on and off, like, over and over, for no reason at all. Some of the downfalls of having a con an RGH console, they sometimes are very temperamental, and there's not really much you can do about them. So, we're just waiting for this to boot back on. Alright, so my console is booting back on, um... <clears throat> I paused it for a second just to unplug it. Sometimes this happens to where it, I call it a lazy boot, and so does my buddy, where it just decides, hey, I'm just not going to want to glitch through one of these cycles or something to get on. So sometimes you need to do that. Not always. It was more common in fat consoles than slims, but you get the idea. So there's the new notifier that I did put on the console. I put the weed notifier on, and I am using XBL Genesis just because it was cheap and... I really didn't want to pay for something expensive, but I'm going to buy Lifetime Zone in a couple days, so it doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, guys, that was it for this video. It shows you how to set up your plugins. There will be a link below to my website where I will have all the plugins that you need, as well as uh, Dash Launch and some other cool notifies. There's quite a few of them that I have, like the Anonymous Notify, the Beats Notify, the Rainbow one, and then the Lion that is red, and then just assorted color notifies it'll all be down below in the description so if you guys do have any questions feel free to let me know leave a like and a sub i am on that road to try and get a hundred thousand subscribers i'm already at 20 subscribers in a single like 15 hours so i'm doing pretty good so far on this channel and hopefully i'll make it there eventually thanks